here we go. Controlled by Milwaukee. Mello, newbie, sets it up. Picked up by Johnson right away. But trying to clear St. Pierre. He had a good game in Chicago on Saturday night against this Flames team. Backing in, the fall away by Golston is short. Rebound, knocked away and taken by St. Pierre. He hits Sinani down the lane, goes over the shot that's blocked. I believe that was Franklin, if not Franklin, getting a piece of that was Carter. Both were there to deny Siani at the doorstep. Now the Flames set up offensively. Sixth in the league in scoring at 71 points a game. Trying to make the turn, Johnson kick out. Corner jumper, no good for Diggins, who hit a couple from the corner in Chicago on Saturday night. But not a great three-point shooter by any stretch. The lob, St. Pierre, good catch and delivery. Joey St. Pierre, 10 points, 10 rebounds, eight points at IUPUI, and then 14 points and five rebounds Saturday against UIC. Oh, the penetration, Franklin, missed on the runner. Golston out of the backcourt. If you're thinking March Madness, in 2017, coming in on a losing streak, the Panthers nearly upset the field in the Horizon League tournament, getting all the way to the conference championship game. Golston penetrating, wheels in with the right hand and left it short. Diggins outlet pass stolen by Sinani. Sinani going in on Diggins, wraps it around, and the uh, jackknife shot won't go for Golston, but St. Pierre puts it through. He has all four points in the game, and the Panthers off to a good start. Milwaukee two years ago made it all the way to the finals in the conference. On the drive, oh man, blow by effect there by Jalen Warren for the first two points of the game for the Flames. They've got some quickness on the floor. There's no question about that. Hancock circle rooting, kicks it to the corner. Sinani stepped on the sideline as he made the reception. Milwaukee averaged 13 turnovers per game in the regular season, ranking eighth in the Horizon League. They averaged 14 turnovers a game in the two games against the Flames. Jalen Warren. Here's KJ, Kevin Johnson with the jab step three. Ring it up. So Kevin Johnson and five quick points. And the Flames have the lead in the early going. They get it inside St. Pierre. Boy, I tell you what, the one area where Milwaukee has had an advantage in the series between these two teams this year has been in the paint. Milwaukee outscoring. Corner tray, not that time for Jace Carter. One and done, and here come the Panthers. Milwaukee had a 58-44 advantage in the paint in the two games this season with UIC. St. Pierre, the kick out. Newby, three ball, ring it up. Donovan Newby connecting from the outside. Milwaukee recaptures the lead by four. These two teams, again, very familiar with each other. They just played Saturday night in Chicago. Turning the corner, Warren on the drive. Rebound loose on the floor, and they tie it up, and on the alternating possession, it would belong to UIC. Milwaukee had a lead at halftime in the first game between these two teams. Six-point advantage. But then Kevin Johnson and Damari A. Franklin heated up for Coach Yaklich's team. And there's a look at Luke Yaklich in his second season. What a job he's done with this team. Much different, much improved team from the club we saw here in January. When they came from behind in the second half, or the big second half, to win 81-77. 
Jamie Ahale checks in now for the Flames, a shooter on the perimeter. This is Diggins backing St. Pierre. Solid defense, St. Pierre, and the rejection. Joey St. Pierre, second in the Horizon League in block shots with 43. There's a lob down low from Golston to St. Pierre, off the mark and off the turnover. A hail, Kevin Johnson, along with Jace Carter, all freshman team selection. Diggins, the rim protector. Demarie Franklin on the floor for the Flames. From the outside, Franklin shot off the mark, and the Flames a bit cool in the early going. Thomas checks in for Milwaukee, along with uh, Lathan to join uh, Golston, St. Pierre, and Sinani on the floor for Milwaukee. Opening five minutes of play in this first half. Eight to go on the shot clock, ball not going anywhere. Now on the drive, tough shot on the runner by Golston. Franklin out of the backcourt, all the way, and he banks it off the glass and in. Franklin leading score, 18 points a game, fifth in the Horizon League this season. Two-point lead, Milwaukee, and this is J2. Lathan sets it up. Jordan, he been averaging seven points a game. Golston looking to go. Carter, very solid defensively. Played Golston tough in the second half in Chicago Saturday night. Sinani looking, time winding down to the shot clock. From the corner, Golston the bailout three. A rainbow off the rim. Rebound corralled and taken to the front court by Johnson. Franklin gets right past Thomas. The kick out from the wing for three. Rims out, no good for Jace Carter. Here's Thomas, stopped by Franklin. Tries to go up and under, tough shot there. Knocked out of bounds, and it's gonna to belong to Milwaukee, I believe will stay on this end. 18 to go on the shot clock. UIC makes a change, Carter heads off, and Zion Griffin comes in. Griffin, third leading score at just over 11 points a game for the Flames. St. Pierre off the inbounds, blocked by Diggins. Ball loose on the floor, knocked out of bounds. And it's gonna stay on this end. Philip Schoball comes into the ball game. Freshman from Belgrade, Serbia. A face the basket big for the UIC Flames. Joey St. Pierre leads with six points. Tafari Sims comes on for Pat Baldwin and company. And Markeith Browning, number five, into the lineup. And he gets DeAndre Golston. 12 to go on the shot clock on the inbounds. Sims against Scoball. Here's Thomas, time wasting. Thomas, a contested elbow. Jumper, no. And the rebound, Franklin. Johnson looking to create. Griffin right back to Johnson. Gets right past Sims on the bank. No, but a foul. Tafari Sims with the first foul of the game. Johnson a little too quick off the dribble for Tafari to stay with him. So it brings Kevin Johnson to the free throw line. Second leading score. 71% free throw shooter. And he drops in the first. Johnson out of Thibodeau, Louisiana. Came to UIC by way of Nickel State. One out of two at the line. Sims the rebound. Milwaukee 0 for its last five from the field. 31% for the game now for the Panthers, 4-13. Sims, good ball, fake, gets around Schoball, banks it home, and one. Blocking foul coming up down low. 
The foul is on DeMarie Franklin, his first and the first on the team. So Sims heading to the free throw line. So far, he did not play at IUPUI, just two points, four rebounds. It's 1751 at UIC. So with a free throw here, he'll surpass that scoring mark from Saturday night. And he does. Milwaukee on top by four. Opening seven minutes of play in this first half. Round one of the Horizon League Basketball Tournament. Franklin inside the arc, chased down by Zion Griffin. Jalen Warren looking to go to work. Griffin a little jab step, driving on Sims. Shot came up short off the glass. Don't believe anybody blocked it. Thomas. Jordan Lathan. Gets the step down the lane on Franklin. Beat him to the bucket, but missed the layup. Dug out of there by Warren. Franklin quickly in transition. A hail. Ring it up from the corner for three. That's what he does. Jamie a hail. He struggled somewhat with a shot this season, but he was pure right there. Sims with the up fake. Picked up on a switch by Warren. JT looking to maneuver. Beautiful move on the spin. His first two points of the game. On the drive, oh, quick move. Beautiful blow by DeMarie Franklin. So the Milwaukee lead is one. A little hesitation and go. Lathan. Here's Thomas and he traveled in those games. Jamie Hale on the inbounds. And Jalen Warren sets it up. UIC in the traveling black uniforms, gold, or I should say uh, red and blue trim. On the drive, the ball actually on the miss by Carter went off of Carter out of bounds. So it'll belong to Milwaukee. Jace Carter, the freshman from Titusville, Florida. All freshman team selection in the Horizon League this season. This is Brownlee. Thomas looking to go on Carter. Carter very solid defensively. Donovan Newby, nothing going at the moment for Milwaukee. Browning penetrates, muscles one up, no good. Griffin the rebound, had it tipped away by Browning. And then we get a foul called on JT. Josh Thomas on the reach. His first second on the team. Up off the bench now, Joey St. Pierre coming back in for Milwaukee. Pat Baldwin mixing and matching out there. Lathan back in as well for the Panthers. Warren to Carter, right back to Warren. Play tough by Browning. And now two hands on defensively. That's an immediate call. Browning picks up his first, now the third of the team. Haven't had a lot of back and forth flows necessarily in this game. You get the feeling both sides almost 10 minutes into the game are still feeling each other out here which is kind of unusual, and you consider they just saw each other Saturday night. Warren on the fall away. Nice move, didn't finish. Carter shot rejected inside. Here's Thomas. Flames hustled back defensively. This is a much improved UIC team than the team that uh, struggled through December and January. Pass down low, they tried to force it into St. Pierre, knocked away. Now St. Pierre gets and delivers. Eight points for Joey St. Pierre. He definitely is the key up front for Milwaukee in this game. It appears the Flames are going to have a hard time handling Joey St. Pierre. Top of the key three, Johnson short. Rebound off the floor, Vin Baker. Milwaukee on the move. 
One thing Pat Baldwin told me before the game, they need to make an emphasis of getting the ball inside. That's their advantage. They're a little bit longer up front than UIC, and especially in the case of Joey St. Pierre, who started quickly in Chicago, but then they kind of got away from him and didn't really get the ball back to him in the second half. Browning on the drive, blocked from behind. That was Carter, a beautiful play defensively. Here's Carter to finish on the other end for three. Halfway down, wouldn't stay. Lathan the rebound. And Milwaukee still leading by three. Coming up on nine minutes ago in this first half of play. St. Pierre with a high screen. Lathan looking for room. And now tied up and on the held ball. Good play by Johnson, but the alternating possession this time belongs to Milwaukee. Griffin leaves back in Damarie Franklin for the Flames. JT on the inbounds to St. Pierre. Browning trying to force the pass to the back door, knocked away and stolen. Warren for three out of the corner. St. Pierre deflects the basketball, now it's loose and picked off by Carter. Hands to Warren, back to Carter. Johnson looking for room. The turnaround to the foul line is good. Kevin Johnson with five points in the first half. And UIC again closes to within one. This is Baker. JT, if he pulled the trigger quick enough, had an open three. Inside Baker and it knocked away by Carter and the putback by St. Pierre. Milwaukee again by three. Opening round, Horizon League Tournament. The winner of this game plays on Thursday night, and all of that depends on where, depends on the seating. Warren off the bounce. Inside, Diggins raising with the hook shot. Again, Milwaukee by one. Baker Euros into the lane. Carter there for the rebound, UIC ball. This is Warren. Picked up by Thomas, dribble handoff. Franklin off a screen by Diggins. Browning picks him up defensively. Franklin just inside the arc. And the rebound taken down by JT, Josh Thomas. Beg your pardon, make that rebound, Lathan. Lathan moves it across. Thomas on the wing at the moment. High post touch for St. Pierre. Lathan and the rebound to Warren. Warren looking to go quickly. Muscles one up short. Good piece of defense by Jordan Lathan. Never gave up an inch on that drive. Kept verticality and denied the drive, the layup. Six and a half to go first half. Thomas, the kick. Open look, Lathan in the corner, catches the rim for three. Side pocket three, Jordan Lathan. His 22nd triple of the season and Milwaukee has a four point lead. Relatively low scoring first half thus far. Franklin. Diggins, they dare him to shoot for three. Swooping in for the rebound, Jordan Lathan. J2, five rebounds a game this season. Lathan squares up, elbow jumper, rims out. St. Pierre is there. Kick to Browning. Markeith Browning sets it up. Off the screen by St. Pierre. The kick to J2 on the drive. And what are we that right now tonight are the reasons why they lead this game. Flames in the dark uniforms, the black uniforms move it across. Schko ball to Franklin. Franklin penetrating, pulls up on Lathan, banks it home. He is so good off the dribble and that quick pull up 
stops on a dime, elevates, and hits this time off glass. The lead is two for Milwaukee. St. Pierre unable to handle down low, recovers. Golston back in for Milwaukee. He has it right now. Ten to go on the shot clock. Golston makes the up fake. Shot off the mark. Long rebound. Chased down by Franklin, and he stepped out of bounds. So Franklin, as he headed down court, stepped on the uh, sideline. Third turnover for UIC. Milwaukee by two. 4.40 to go in this first half of play. Donovan Newby, Jordan Lathan, Vin Baker Jr., Josh Thomas, DeAndre Golston on the floor for Milwaukee, clad in the gold home uniforms with the white trim, white numbers. Ten to go on the shot clock. Golston gives up three for two and missed badly. Carter the rebound on the baseline and as he brought the ball down, he dribbled on the baseline. Another reprieve here on this particular possession for Milwaukee. And the officials conferring at the moment. Chad Barlow, Mike Griffith, Brad Klaus are the officials. It's Milwaukee ball, but just two to go on the shot clock. Diggins back in, replacing Scoball for the Flames. Well, let's see if Milwaukee realized just two to go on that shot clock. St. Pierre back in really quickly, and Baker leaves for Milwaukee. Lathan on the trigger. St. Pierre clears. Did he get it off in time? No, he did not. Diggins blocked it anyway. Shot clock violation. Seventh turnover for Milwaukee in this first half of play. Milwaukee eighth in the league, committing 13 turnovers a game. Last in turnover differential at minus 3.1. Johnson. Diggins out high. Warren penetrates. The lob down low and Diggins touches it home. His second from the field, he has four. So four quick points and UIC has caught Milwaukee with 3.45 to go in this first half. Milwaukee's gone the last two. 34 without scoring. Newby picks up the dribble. Thomas. Lathan. Jam stepping Warren. Takes him off the dribble as they clear it out for him. Now the pull up. Missed it badly. Rebound battle down low. Deflected out of UIC basketball as they set up in the front court. Johnson to Schoball. Slipping and falling as Franklin lost the handle on it. JT on a run out. Josh Thomas second from the field. He has four. And uh, they're going to wipe up a wet patch on the floor. Demarie Franklin turned the corner to the outside and lost his footing and the ball. So while they take up that piece of business, getting the floor squared away, Thomas able to beat Jamie Ahale to the bucket. Under three minutes to go, first half. In the first game between these two teams here, Milwaukee won 81-77 by the Flames. Milwaukee had a six-point halftime lead. Open look for three is good by Franklin. He has nine. And UIC has their first lead since the 17-25 mark of this first half. 
Newby. Thomas, St. Pierre being fronted at the moment by Schoball. And an offensive foul is called, and it's going to be on DeAndre Ghost in his first, fifth on the team. Merrily reached out with the off arm, pushed off on the drive. Eight turnovers now for the Panthers. And UIC just in the last couple of minutes beginning to put things together offensively. Go ball. And the weave out front, Warren. Johnson, a hail for three. Be beg your pardon, make that go ball on the three ball from the outside. And UIC with its biggest lead on a 6 0 run. Thomas elbow jumper off. St. Pierre collects, missed the layup in close. Here comes Kevin Johnson out of the backcourt for the Flames. Milwaukee back defensively. And Johnson is fouled on the drive by Newby. First on Newby, sixth on the team. Not shooting a fair. Browning up off the bench, waiting to come on for Milwaukee. Beyond just a common play. And so they inbound to the Flames. Both th teams got an opportunity for a break there and, and a huddle with their coaches. Schoball. Here's Johnson. Johnson with time winding down to the shot clock. Tough shot off the right baseline. My goodness, he has seven in this first half. Franklin has nine. And they've led UIC to a seven-point lead. Biggest lead either way. St. Pierre so effective early on. Tough shot there. And Milwaukee continues stone cold down the stretch of this first half. Franklin. Under a minute to go first half. The last three minutes of this first half, the Flames have grabbed control. Johnson, go ball, three ball, ring it. Top of the key, three. Timeout. One of their last eight from the floor over the last four minutes. Markeith Browning gets it across. Got about an eight-second difference. Shot clock to game clock. A touch for St. Pierre on the high post. And on the jam, a hail commits the foul on the handoff to Devin Hancock. Jamie Hale's first. Only the second team foul on UIC tonight. Newby off the inbounds. 15 to go on the shot clock. St. Pierre going quickly on Diggins. Nicely done. Joey St. Pierre, 12 first half points for him. And boy, a much needed basket for Milwaukee. Aims with Franklin, Kevin Johnson on the perimeter. Jace Carter on the floor as well. Johnson, Scoball out of the corner, a three. They gave the league barely six months notice that they're leaving for the Missouri Valley Conference next year. And so the sanction was that they would not be able to host a postseason game. But they're on the road where this season they were 7-7 seven and seven away from home. And they have a seven-point lead as we begin the second half. Good to have you with us. Horizon League first-round action. Franklin penetrates. Warren on the drive off the wing. Score it and a foul. Blocking foul coming up on Milwaukee. Warren on the drive. The foul is on Devin Hancock, who tried to take the charge. His first. So Warren at the line looking for a three-point play the old-fashioned way. And a chance to give. UIC a double-digit lead for the first time tonight. UIC in the month of February won six of nine games, including their last three in a row. And the free throw is good. One of those victories, by the way, came against Cleveland State, the team that won 
the regular season title and has the number one seed in the tournament. Well, Milwaukee, much work to be done here. Now trailing by 10. Flames have gone man to man most of the night. Down low, the pass to St. Pierre and a push off. I'm going to call the foul on UIC. First team foul on UIC. St. Pierre raises with the right hand. Carter tips the rebound to Warren. On the lob, Diggins got too deep. Tough shot coming up and under St. Pierre. Joey, good defense there. Golston needs to get on track. First field goal of the game for DeAndre Golston. Opening two minutes of play. And this the second half. KJ on the drive, hits the heel to the rim. Lathan, beautiful move to get by Carter. Down the lane, finger roll is good! J2 on the board in the second half. Milwaukee now back to within six with four quick points. Warren cut off by St. Pierre. Outside, Carter, and ring it up for three, top of the key. Chase Carter's first points of the game. This is Newby. Lathan out high. Hancock clears, top of the key. And the rebound taken down by Diggins. Franklin looking to turn the corner. Steered out of the lane by Lathan. Now gets a screen from Diggins. And a pass off the hand of Diggins out of play. Franklin ill-advised on that pass, didn't have the angle, and Diggins didn't have uh, much of an opportunity to make the catch. Only the sixth turnover of the night, though, by UIC. Newby, Lathan, St. Pierre, Golston on the floor, and a turnover, Milwaukee. Here comes Warren. Franklin, circle rooting, slipped and fell, but a beautiful bounce feed into Diggins for the two-handed put down. Six for Diggins, beautiful feed from Demarie Franklin. The lead is 11 now, biggest lead of the night for UIC. And a timeout call. Browning has come on for the Panthers, along with Golston, Lathan, Newby, and St. Pierre. This is Newby. Golston had it tipped away from behind. Flames off the steal. Carter able to clear. And they reset the offense with Kevin Johnson. Turnovers of plenty. Ten already in the game for Milwaukee. Open look. Carter for three. Not that time. Rebound. Lathan could not handle it, but able to get it as newbie to Browning. St. Pierre, good catch and delivery. Boy, they have got to pound that card all night. That's the only advantage Milwaukee has shown in this game. That's the ability of Joey St. Pierre to score inside. Four minutes gone by, almost four minutes gone by, second half. Warren getting baseline, ball tipped and out of bounds. In will belong to Milwaukee. Browning got a piece of it, knocked it off. Warren and off that turnover by UIC. Milwaukee a chance to cut the gap. Zion Griffin coming into the ball game. As I mentioned, third leading scorer. Hasn't played a whole lot here tonight. Came in averaging 11 points a game, yet to score. Jamie Hale is in, and he replaces Jace Carter. Flames play basically an eight-man rotation. And like I said, they have made great strides since the beginning 
of the conference season, coming together as a team. Thomas with the runner on a force between defenders, knocked out of bounds. Last touch, I believe, by St. Pierre. So it belongs to UIC. And another eight seed, leading number nine seed Milwaukee, 40 to 31. Franklin had a good first half with nine points. Johnson trying to slash. Scoball for three, and he rings that. His third triple of the night. He's 42 on the season. He in shooting 35% from downtown. On the drive, Thomas Muscles. Scoball the rebound. Franklin on the push. Panthers back quickly defensively. Go ball again for three. Ring that. Red hot from distance. He has 12 on four from downtown. And the lead is 15 now. Biggest margin of the night. JT lost the handle on it. Making the turn. Browning. Oh, beautiful. Scoop shot down the lane. Boy, did they need that one. Browning connecting. 13-point advantage, UIC. Five and a half minutes gone by, second half. Franklin out front. UIC. Franklin, mid-range jumper, pure. First two points of the second half. He has 11 of the game. It's all going now for UIC. The Flames are in rhythm. Browning looking to make it go on a hail. Browning missed on the layup, and here come the Flames on the run. Johnson measures a three, missed it badly. Loose on the floor, Johnson gets it back. Tough fadeaway, comes up short. Lathan unable to handle the rebound, but Newby does. Browning the pull up at the elbow, ring that. Browning with four points here the second half. So the lead is 13 for UIC. On the crossover, Johnson. Griffin makes the turn, delivers off the glass. Boy, that ball was hit as he went on his way up. Able to hold it together and banked it home. Zion Griffin's first two points of the game came in averaging 11 and a half points per contest. Again, the lead is 15 for UIC. Step back three, not there for J2, Jordan Lathan. Here's Franklin. Go ball the screen. Franklin turns the corner, left it short. Go ball the rebound. Griffin for three. Halfway down, wouldn't stay. And the rebound corralled by Donovan Newby. Thomas. Browning from the outside for three. Seven second half points for Mark Keith Browning. Trying to shoot the Panthers back into this game. UIC by 12. Almost eight minutes gone by, second half. Panthers now three of six from downtown. Flames eight of 21, here's another. And it rims out. Very much a perimeter-oriented team, UIC. On the drive, Lathan Ilke down 12. They trailed by as many as 15 in the ball game. Misses the front end of the two-shot foul. When you struggle from the field the way the Panthers often do, you have to hit free throws. Only the second free throw of the night for Milwaukee. There's the third, one out of two at the line. Six points for Lathan, and the lead is 11. Kevin Johnson moves it across. 
Here's Diggins up high. Low post touch, beautiful move with the left hand, left it short. Zion Griffin got poked in the face, no call. In rhythm, Tafari Sims for three, no. And the rebound taken by Jace Carter. Here's Franklin. Diggins with a high screen. Franklin looking to turn the corner on Browning. Ball knocked away on his pass to the corner, chased down by Newby. Just two points for the leading scorer for Milwaukee, DeAndre Goldston. Ball tipped away. Boy, UIC extending that defense. Lathan out front, Browning for three, side of the rim this time. Carter the rebound, and UIC as we near the halfway point, second half, playing on 11-point lead, sets it up. Johnson on the crossover, lost the handle. Saved on the play by DeAndre Golston. Nothing coming easy for Milwaukee in any respect in this game. Now Newby sets it up. High screen from Sims. Now Sims able to clear down low. Tough shot. Griffin couldn't handle the rebound. Jace Carter does. Panthers 35% shooting. This is Johnson. Step back for three. Ring it up. Cold-blooded. Kevin Johnson now with 10. 14 point lead, trying to get it right back in the corner. No good off the heel to the rim by Devin Hancock. Now Johnson. Johnson on the puts it on the deck. Now the pull up, top of the key for two. Kevin Johnson, five quick points, and this is the biggest lead of the night. 16 points. Browning trying to get baseline and does. Blocked on the play by Demarie Franklin, and the foul called on Franklin is his second. Only the second on the team in the second half. Matter of fact, UIC has had just four fouls called on them tonight. Make that three team fouls on UIC. So they've had five fouls called on them in the game tonight. Browning at the free throw line. Markeith has had a nice second half, but misses the front end of the free throw. Milwaukee, after shooting it very well through December and part of January, really fell off in the free throw shooting department. 72.2% as a team. That's seventh in the 12-team uh, Horizon League. Browning, 11 of 22 free throws coming in, just 50%. Has played in nine of the last 11 games, averaging three points in 11 minutes per game. 55-40, 15-point lead, and Joey St. Pierre comes back on for Milwaukee. So the Flames with the lead, and... Milwaukee getting its uh, highly effective big man back into the game. Diggins gets it across. Jalen Warren played tight out front by Newby. Warren, a little bit of penetration, turning the corner, Browning. Franklin, rather, and his pass intended on the play for Carter, knocked away, stolen by Newby. Open look for Jordan Lathan, and he buries a triple off the right wing. Nine for Lathan, and Milwaukee trying to hang around and maybe make a run here, down 12. Eight minutes to go, nearing eight minutes to go in the game.
Flames start that weave out front. Griffin looking for an outlet. Here's Franklin. Oh, beautiful look inside. Diggins missed the jam, and they called a foul on the, the foul on Joey St. Pierre. Diggins missing on the first. 65.5% free throw shooter. And he makes the second. 56-43. 13 point lead. Panthers up against it. In this half, Milwaukee. 7 of 17 from the floor. Golston must get going, and he gets that one to go off the glass. DeAndre Golston with just his second field goal. Golston now 2 of 9 from the field. Bullet feed down low to Warren from KJ. Kevin Johnson, wow. 11th turnover for UIC. Well, this is an opportunity just over seven minutes to go in the game for Milwaukee to make a run. It's win or go home here tonight. March Madness is upon us. Traveling, I believe, no. They got a foul on Jace Carter. Carter picks up his second. That's four on the team. Golston jacks up a three and splashes it home. <laughs> One of those is no, 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 yeah. 56 <laughs> 48. Well, it's down to an eight point deficit as far as the Panthers are concerned. They need more defensive stops. Top of the key, Warren gets it right back. While we were away, Joey St. Pierre hit on a rebound down low, and Jalen Warren just hit on a drive for UIC, and now we've got a foul coming up on Jace Carter, his third personal, fifth on the team. Net result of all of that, 11-point lead for UIC. Under six minutes to go, if Milwaukee's going to make a run, it better be now. Lathan on the inbound, St. Pierre. Golston trying to clear. Carter on him. Golston takes him off the bounce, banks it home, and one. Carter commits his fourth personal foul as Golston comes alive down the stretch here in the second half. All nine of his points in the second half. Six team fouls on UIC. Carter picks up his fourth. So a good defensive player, one of the top freshmen of the league, has to come off the floor. Back in, Damari A. Franklin, not nearly as good a defender, but an excellent scorer, returns to the game, the leading scorer for UIC. Meanwhile, DeAndre Golston for a three-point play, and he's got it the old-fashioned way. Double digits for Golston. The lead back down to eight points once again for UIC. Warren. It's the step, lays it up. No, but drew contact in the foul. Warren is a guy they are having trouble staying with, and uh, JT not equal to the J2 not equal to the task. Jordan Lathan picks up his second personal, third on the team.
Two shots coming up. Warren, two of five from the field with five points. Makes good on his first. Warren, 84.8% from the free throw line. Warren, by the way, not five points. He has 11 points now in the ball game. Four of seven from the field, two of two from the free throw line. Second is good. Graduate senior from Milton, Ontario, has 12 points of the game. UIC by 10. Coming up on five minutes ago, Golston, who's had the hot hand of late. St. Pierre. Golston for three. Rebound batted, knocked out of bounds by Warren. Belongs to Milwaukee. Here's a look at Warren. Boy, he's done some work here in the second half. Thomas able to collect. Golston, newbie, corner tray on the way. Ring it up. Diggins on the floor for the Flames. The inbound to Diggins. And the lanky front court player gets it across. Picks up his dribble. This is Johnson. Warren out front. In traffic. Diggins unable to handle down low. Ball knocked away, deflected out of bounds. And it will stay on this end. Seven to go on the shot clock for UIC. KJ on the inbounds. Griffin. Franklin to beat the clock. In the rebound. To Newby. Now Golston. Golston trying to turn the corner. Golston backing in, turns, goes up and under, rims out. Rebound batted by St. Pierre, deflected loose on the floor. Lathan on the wing, jacks a three, ring it up. Milwaukee coming to life from downtown. And suddenly the Panthers right back in it. 3.54 to go. UIC. Franklin, Diggins. Kevin Johnson, Jace Carter playing with four personal fouls. Zion Griffin on the floor for the Flames. Diggins out front. Griffin gives up his dribble. Johnson on the wing. Watched by Lathan. Johnson hesitation to go, then the quick pull up. And the rebound wiped away by Golston. Milwaukee a chance to close to within two or one with a triple. Browning picked up by Griffin. Here's Golston. Golston leaning in. Ball knocked away. Blocked on the play. Racing out of the backcourt. Diggins on the drive field tonight. Three rebounds. And he makes them both. Eight points for Diggins. The lead back up to six. Newby moves it across. Pressed by Johnson. Golston trying to turn the corner. Tough shot there. St. Pierre the rebound, and he was fouled on the play. By Jace Carter, I believe, and that would be the freshman's fifth personal foul. It is on Carter. <laughs> Carter fouls out with 2.51 to go in the game. And he is a key defensive piece for UIC. Did a heck of a job in the second half on DeAndre Golston in Chicago on Saturday night. So Carter fouls out with 2.51 to go. Seven team fouls on UIC. 
sending Joey St. Pierre th to the line. Joey just 51% of the free throw line, but boy, do the uh, Panthers need both of these. Front end to the one and one. Missed the front end. Rebound knocked out of bounds and last touched by Jamie Ahale. So it belongs to Milwaukee. Golston has been hot down the stretch. Ten second half points. St. Pierre. Browning. Open look off the screen in and out for Golston. Rebound taken by UIC Diggins. Outlet pass stolen by Browning. Lathan in the corner to Newby. Back to Browning. Two and a half to go in the game. The lead is six for UIC. Browning, his pass stolen on the play by Johnson. In on the drive, and it rims in Kevin Johnson, and that was a dagger. 11th turnover for Milwaukee. 67-59, coming up on two minutes to go. Browning. Here's Lathan. Lathan against O'Hale. Will stop and go. Feeds St. Pierre down low. He's fouled on the drive. Good interior feed. Joey had to go down to get it, though, on the bounce pass. Kevin Johnson picks up the foul, reaching in. His first eighth on the team. And St. Pierre at the free throw line. As I mentioned, 12 points for Joey in the first half of play. He has 16 in the game. Shooting two on this trip. 51% from the line. Not the right guy at the line for Milwaukee. As far as the Flames are concerned, they put the right guy at the line. Missed them both. Rebound battle and got a foul called on Golston. Wow. It's kind of a nickel dimer. Looked like Golston just grabbed the rebound. His second, sixth on the team. So Joey St. Pierre leaves. It's a non shooting affair. Flames thought they were in the bonus, but they are not. Six team fouls on Milwaukee. Eight point lead for the Flames, and they have 151 to go. Desperation time for Milwaukee. Pressure in the backcourt. Racing it across is Franklin. Had it knocked away, and they got a foul called on Newby. His third, seventh on the team, one on one opportunity coming up for Damari A. Franklin, a 69% free throw shooter. UIC took control of this game by closing out the first half on an 11 to 2 run to take a 32 25 lead at the break. They built that lead to 16 in the second half. Watch that last play. Newby reaching in. There's a, had a good look at it from the baseline. Wow, looked like he got all ball. Wow. One and one opportunity for Franklin. Makes good on the first. 12 points for Demarie Franklin. Rather quiet night for him. He came in averaging 18.2 points a game. Fifth in the Horizon League in scoring. Ninth in field goal percentage at 44.7%. One out of two at the line. So... The lead now is nine, going quickly as he has to. Lathan on the drive. Lathan with 14, 11 of which have come in the second half. Full court pressure by Milwaukee. Down seven with 90 seconds to go. And a quick foul call. Donovan Newby picks up his fourth personal foul. Eight on the team, one and one opportunity coming up for UIC. So KJ, Kevin Johnson, the point guard at the free throw line, a 70.7% free throw shooter. 
Eight of 11 at the line are the Flames tonight. Makes the front end. 15 for Kevin Johnson. UIC just 10th in the horizon league at free throw shooting at 70.2% as a team. And they get to the free throw line 13 times a game, making nine and a half. Second free throw for Johnson. And he restores a nine-point lead. 16 for Kevin Johnson. Lathan again goes quickly. Ball tipped away by Johnson. Stolen by Diggins. Now it's going to be time to foul here. They get it away quickly to Kevin Johnson out of the backcourt. And now the foul committed. <laughs> Newby picks up his fifth personal foul. Nine on the team. So Donovan Newby finishes with six points, fouls out with a minute 14 to go. See him. Again, not much. It looked like he just kind of tipped it from behind. Didn't see a whole lot there on that replay. And they put Kevin Johnson back to the free throw line. Johnson with 16 points. Johnson scored 18, 28 points here in Milwaukee back in January. He scored 26 in the second half of that game. He was 6 of 6 from downtown. And makes the first 17 points tonight for Kevin Johnson. Second leading scorer, 13 points a game. Leads this team in assists coming into the contest. Nails in the coffin. 18 points for Kevin Johnson. 74 seconds to go in the season for Milwaukee. Browning going quickly on a hail, bumped all the way. The foul on Jamie Hale is his second personal. Nine on the team. Markeith Browning forcing the action here to contact on the bump, as you saw right at the end of the play. Markeith, 50% this season at the free throw line coming in. Did it the hard way off the front of the rim. Second free throw upcoming. Ten-point ball game. Rims out on the second ball, loose on the floor. Browning able to collect. Hancock. Thomas on the drive down the lane. Tough shot. Diggins digs it out of there. Johnson on the run. Under a minute to go in the game. And uh, they're going to get a bear hug here. Did they get a foul called or did they get a timeout called? No, they got the foul called. I believe it's on Golston, his third. DeAndre's third, tenth on the team. Double bonus time for the UIC Flames. Well, we mentioned to you that Milwaukee in the past has made uh, some tournament runs, but it doesn't appear like this will be that kind of year. Johnson makes good on the first. 19 for him. Last year, Panthers made it all the way to the semifinals, losing to Cleveland State. 2017, coming in on a losing streak, they made it all the way to the championship game, losing to Northern Kentucky, 59-53. 20 points for Kevin Johnson, 74-62. The UIC Flames will advance. And Golston loses the dribble. Out of bounds, it goes back to UIC. So the Flames, who won six of their last nine games, including three in a row, will move to uh, seven of their last ten, including a four-game winning streak. Moving on to the next round of the Horizon League Tournament. Franklin to Johnson. Final 30 seconds coming up. About a 15-second different shot clock to game clock. Coach Luke Yaklich just kind of winding time away. His team leading by 12, and they will advance in the Horizon League Tournament. Shot clock to beat the shot clock. How about that? Jalen Warren, and he waves goodbye to the crowd. Cold-blooded triple by Jalen Warren. He has 15 points. 
13.9 to go. It's 77-62. After Milwaukee had closed within four at the four-minute mark, UIC has forged ahead on a 14-3 run to clinch this one. So the Flames will move to 14 and 15, eight and seven on the road. They've been a very good road team. 16.2 remaining. This is Browning. And the runner, he hits it. 11 for Browning, all of which have come in the second half of play. 11.7 11.7 remaining. And the long inbounds of Diggins, he was held all the way by Thomas. And they've got a uh, flagrant foul on the play on Thomas. Josh Thomas, second personal foul. He just watch this. This is a intentional or flagrant one foul on Josh Thomas as he uh, tried to hold back. Michael Diggins on the uh, on the run out. Diggins gets two shots at the line here. So Diggins will get another. He has nine. UIC ball on the side. Missed the second one. UIC basketball on the side, 11.7 remaining. So Coach Luke Yaklich and his Flames will advance. And this is a club that has made great strides in the second half of this season. Franklin on the inbounds. Tipped away, stolen by Browning. Feeds inside Lathan, blocked from behind, and a foul called. Blocked on the play by uh, Jalen Johnson. He picks up his first personal foul. Ten team fouls, two shots coming up for Jordan Lathan at the line. UIC by 14, 7.4 remaining. JT makes good on his first. Tough season for Milwaukee. So much uh, high expectations entering the season with Pat Baldwin Jr. Only played 11 games due to injuries this year. Just a real tough season for a team that in the preseason polls was picked to finish as high as fourth in the Horizon League. It just never happened for them. Meanwhile, UIC struggled through much of the season, got things going down the stretch of the month of February, and that carries over into March. Four seconds remaining. And more free throws coming up at the line. So Jalen Johnson gets a couple of free throws here. And the lefty makes the first. Very tough season for Milwaukee to finish up 10 and 22 overall. Hustling it across, Lathan squares up for three and buries it 